So, I've got a Trail Finder 2 build for you guys today. And it comes boxed up like this. First you have a little like thin styrofoam, sh styrofoam sheet. Then you have your directions on top of your body set. You have your transmission. It is a two speed and it does have neutral. Some people think it doesn't. But it actually does have neutral if you can find it. It's like in the middle of high and low gear. This is a transfer case. It's machined. And it's a nice component. Front axle, rear axle. They're also metal. And then your four beat lock rims. Then underneath it you have um, full metal frame components. All... All of the frame braces that go across are metal. So you're going to have like no frame bending or twisting that you would have on your SCX-10. Underneath it is um, your 1.55 Mud Thrasher tires. And they are a little bit smaller than Axia 1.9 rip saws. Um, I'd say maybe half an inch smaller. Perfect for scale looks. And then you have your bags of parts that you're going to need, screws, all that stuff to put, put your truck together. Make sure not to lose any of that. I'll get to the build in a second. But that is how you're going to put one of your leaf spring shackles I just showed you. And so, um, you're putting the, that shackle onto the frame for later mounting of your leaf spring. You use 8mm button head screws on there for mounting. So here's a trick um, I found that works pretty good. So on your rock reel, the hole is pretty small and you can't really start screwing it. So I took a body reamer, stuck it in the hole, and then started drilling it out bigger so that once you get your screw in, it starts making it bigger and bigger. So I've got a ahead some steps and I got my leaf spring mounts on the rock rails well yeah the rock rails and I have three out of four of the body posts on right now and I've gotten one of the front braces on and the transfer case plate now in, in the instruction, instructions, it's telling me to get out another crossbar, which takes another threaded screw. Can't remember which size it said. But I'm going to screw that in, and then I'll catch you in a moment. So, I've got my axles on with the leaf springs, and I'm about to put my bumper mount on. But, the shackles, they swing very far forward, and you have to put pressure on them to put your bumper mount in. So, I think I'm going to put my shocks in first, so that they're out of the way, and they're not, they don't have pressure on them at this very second. See how I'm pushing them? They are, they swing too far forward without that pump mount in right now. So, I think it looks pretty nice. I have the transfer case in there, radio box, and um, a floor plate. The rear axle's on, and the two rear body posts that 
post a cue that and so I'm getting the screws out, ready to put my shocks in. You're going to use an, I think it's an 18 millimeter screw to go through the axle and the shock and a spacer. I'm looking in the direction manual a second. I think this is a very nice truck and then if you were going to get a kit this is definitely the way to go. It is pretty heavy. The box is heavy. Pretty heavy compared to an axial kit weight. These are very nice shocks from RC four wheel drive. They are steel or um, billet aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum. And they're very nice. They are already they already have their shock oils in them. They might have inner shocks. But they are just very nice. They have metal ball joints so you don't have to replace them. My axial is about due for, due for a change on plastic ball joints. But those are the rear shocks and the front shocks are in the baggie but it's a very nice truck you don't have to get your hands dirty or greasy at all when you're working on this truck because all of the greasy and dirty parts of building this truck are already done I got the razor there trying to open all the shocks there we go now you can see these things these are just a, just as as awesome as the rear ones. They are pretty cool shocks. I really like these shocks. And they are just really nice. It would, it's a nice upgrade from the axial shocks that you get on your truck, but I really like these. They have a really shiny shiny outside to them. They're kind of painted chrome. But once you put them on with the leaf springs, there's ac they're actually compressed a little bit. It's pretty cool. Say goodbye to this transmission because it's going in the truck in a second. It's a very nice machine to outside. And I think it's full of metal gears. I don't know if you can shift on the go, but it looks pretty cool. Instead of zipping your threaded threaded screw all the way down your rod, because that rod is threaded all the way down, so you'll lose it pretty quick. But I like to put mine on the Allen wrench, and then screw it into your rod end first and then screw it into your rod hey um here's a, another little tip this is the stock axial rear bumper and the front bumper will work the same way. You can just put them right inside of those TF2 mounts. So your Trailfinder 2 bumper will work with the with the SCX10 too. So that's just a cool little tip that I found out. Here's something else that I found out. See these um, hubs, the hex hubs? You can just pull them right off, and they'll just slide right off. And then there's a bag of parts, and it has ones that will that will screw on with grub screws. And so I'm gonna start putting those on. But before you do yours, keep in mind that the the ones that screw on. They are actually, they aren't as wide as the ones that can just fall off. 
and they're the new ones are four millimeters, and the stock ones are um are are five millimeters. So I think I'm gonna put on the ones that stay on just for a try. So I've came to the end of this roller belt and I uh, popped the body in. The front's kind of falling off. I got my body clips in. Those aren't the same ones that come with it, but I really like that drop bed. And I got, you can kind of see inside of it without the grill on. I put some different tires on. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and project updates of this truck. Thanks for watching.